Arbani has won the Miss Universe 2023. Wow, what a proud moment. And in this video, you are going to listen committee question round. These questions were asked by judges from top five finalists. To improve your English quickly, I suggest you to watch this video twice. Why? Because when you see it first time, just try to enjoy it. Just watch it for the entertainment. Try to understand the meaning. Try to understand the questions. Try to understand the answer. Just focus on your listening only. And once you have done that, now you are very well known that what is in the video. So when you try to watch it second time, at that time, try to focus on the vocab. Try to focus on the sentence structure. If you follow this method, definitely your English speaking skills is going to improve very quickly and this is the best method to enhance your language hello everyone welcome to speak lux this is komal i post daily videos related to english or ielts so if you like my video don't forget to like subscribe and share let's start the video now hope you will enjoy and drop your comments about your experience regarding this video so that it will help me to make more such videos in future we are live in New Orleans with the selection committee question round. Now this round determines who will continue on to the next final three. No pressure. <laughs> None of the women know their questions in advance and they only have one chance to answer. The selection committee takes this round very seriously because Miss Universe will use her voice as a global ambassador. So the job requires strong communication skills. So, delegates, each of you will randomly draw the name of a selection committee member and that member will ask you their question. You'll have 30 seconds to answer and when your time is up, you'll hear this sound. Interpreters will be provided for those who need them. Are you ready? No, but we gotta do this. We gotta do that. <laughs> Venezuela? You are up first. Please reach into the bowl and choose a selection committee member who will ask your question. Thank you so much. Your question is coming from number five, Wendy Fitzwilliam. Wendy, what's your question? Tell me about a time you felt shame and how you turned that feeling into fuel. Good evening, New Orleans. Thank you for your question. I actually have a press conference which is called The Forbidden Dream, which talks about that forbidden dream that I had when I wanted to become a fashion designer because I felt shame about it. I didn't feel I, it was possible for me to sustain my life, but I pursued it and I demonstrated myself, which was the most importantly, that following our dreams our passions, we are able to leave an impact stamp in every single action we take. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. USA, you are up next. Pick a selection committee member who will ask your question. USA, you're next. Thank you so much. Your question is coming from number two, Mara Martin. Mara, tell us your question. First of all, you guys all look absolutely stunning. <laughs> Miss Universe recently made an inclusive change allowing mothers and married women to compete this year. What's another change you'd like to see and why? For me, I would like to see an age increase because <laughs> I am 28 years old and that is the oldest age to compete. And I think it's a beautiful thing. My favorite quote is, if not now, then when? Because as a woman, I believe age does not define us. 
It's not tomorrow. It's not yesterday. But it's now. The time is now that you can go after what you want. Thank you. All right. Number eight, Big Frida. Please let us know your question. If you are crowned Miss Universe, how would you represent all of this year delegates through your reign? I would represent all of these year's delegates because I am a mirror of what a woman is. I believe in the dream and the power that we all hold to make our dreams reality. That is why I'm standing here today. I know what it's like to not believe in your dream, but I also know what it's like to find a voice. We are the voice of tomorrow, so let your voice echo in the chamber of time. Because this is the power that we have, and I will represent the woman like that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Curacao. Curacao, please choose a selection committee member. Thank you. Your question is coming from number seven, Olivia Quito. What is your question? Hi. If you had the opportunity to speak with the leader of your country, what would you want to discuss? Hi, good New Orleans! How are you guys doing today? I think there's a lot to be discussed and I believe that Curacao is a multicultural country. And I believe that we should embrace all different cultures and also discuss the fact that I feel like sometimes people feel excluded and we should not discriminate or have any type of bullying in the country. Thank you. Thank you so much. And finally, Dominican Republic, reach in and pick a, a selection committee member. so much. Okay, your question comes from number three, Emily Austin. What is the most significant obstacle that women in your country face and what should be done about it? I believe that the most significant obstacle that women in my country face is access to education. There's a number of women and children in the Dominican Republic that cannot go to school, that don't have lack of access to go to them. And I believe that we have to do something about it now. We need to make sure that kids are able to be kids, they're able to play, to educate themselves, not be mothers, not be wives. It is the moment now to take action to make sure that in the Dominican Republic we have education. to our top five and to our selection committee members. Wow, I think they kind of killed it. Remember the answers they just gave will determine who will move on to the top three.